History of Computer. Pre 20th century. The Ishango bone, a bone tool dating back to prehistoric Africa. Devices have been used to aid computation for thousands of years, mostly using one to one correspondence with fingers. The earliest counting device was probably a form of tally stick. Later record keeping aids throughout the Fertile Crescent included calculi, clay spheres, cones, etc., which represented counts of items, probably livestock or grains, sealed in hollow unbaked clay containers. 4 5. The use of counting rods is one example. Pre 20th century. The Ishango bone, a bone tool dating back to prehistoric Africa. Devices have been used to aid computation for thousands of years, mostly using one to one correspondence with fingers. The earliest counting device was probably a form of tally stick. Later record keeping aids throughout the Fertile Crescent included calculi, clay spheres, cones, etc., which represented counts of items, probably livestock or grains, sealed in hollow unbaked clay containers. 4 5. The use of counting rods is one example. The Chinese Suanpan, dot the number represented on this abacus is 6,302,715,408. The abacus was initially used for arithmetic tasks. The Roman abacus was developed from devices used in Babylonia as early as 2400 BC. Since then, many other forms of reckoning boards or tables have been invented. In a medieval European counting house, a checkered cloth would be placed on a table, and markers moved around on it according to certain rules, as an aid to calculating sums of money. 6. The Antikythera Mechanism, dating back to ancient Greece circa 150-100 BC, is an early analog computing device. The Antikythera Mechanism is believed to be the earliest mechanical analog computer, according to Derek J. De Sola Price. 7. It was designed to calculate astronomical positions. It was discovered in 1901 in the Antikythera wreck off the Greek island of Antikythera, between Kythera and Crete, and has been dated to circa 100 BC. Devices of a level of complexity comparable to that of the Antikythera mechanism would not reappear until a thousand years later. Many mechanical aids to calculation and measurement were constructed for astronomical and navigation use. The planisphere was a star chart invented by Abu Rayhan al-Biruni in the early 11th century. 8. The astrolabe was invented in the Hellenistic world in either the 1st or 2nd centuries BC and is often attributed to Hipparchus. A combination of the planisphere and dioptra, the astrolabe was effectively an analog computer capable of working out several different kinds of problems in spherical astronomy. An astrolabe incorporating a mechanical calendar computer 910, and gear wheels was invented by Abi Bakr of Isfahan, Persia in 1235. 11. Abu Rayhan al Biruni invented the first mechanical geared lunisolar calendar astrolabe. 12. An early fixed wired knowledge processing machine. 13. With a gear train and gear wheels. 14. Circa 1000 AD. The sector a calculating instrument used for solving problems in proportion, trigonometry, multiplication and division, and for various functions, such as squares and cube roots, was developed in the late 16th century and found application in gunnery, surveying and navigation. The planimeter was a manual instrument to calculate the area of a closed figure by tracing over it with a mechanical linkage. A slide rule the slide rule was invented around 1620 to 1630, shortly after the publication of the concept of the logarithm. It is a hand-operated analog computer for doing multiplication and division. As slide rule development progressed, added scales provided reciprocals, squares and square roots, cubes and cube roots, as well as transcendental functions such as logarithms and exponentials, circular and hyperbolic trigonometry and other functions. Slide rules with special scales are still used for quick performance of routine calculations, such as the E6P circular slide rule used for time and distance calculations on light aircraft. In the 1770s, Pierre Jacquet draws, a Swiss watchmaker, built a mechanical doll, automaton, that could write holding a quill pen. By switching the number and order of its internal wheels different letters, and hence different messages, could be produced. 
In effect, it could be mechanically programmed to read instructions. Along with two other complex machines, the doll is at the Musée d'Art d'Histoire of Neuchâtel, Switzerland, and still operates. 15. In 1831-1835, mathematician and engineer Giovanni Plana devised a perpetual calendar machine, which, though a system of pulleys and cylinders and over, could predict the perpetual calendar for every year from Mad Zero, that is, 1 BC, to AD 4000, keeping track of leap years and varying day length. The tide predicting machine invented by Sir William Thomson in 1872 was of great utility to navigation in shallow waters. It used a system of pulleys and wires to automatically calculate predicted tide levels for a set period at a particular location. The differential analyzer, a mechanical analog computer designed to solve differential equations by integration, used wheel and disk mechanisms to perform the integration. In 1876, Lord Kelvin had already discussed the possible construction of such calculators, but he had been stymied by the limited output torque of the ball and disk integrators. 16. In a differential analyzer, the output of one integrator drove the input of the next integrator, or a graphing output. The torque amplifier was the advance that allowed these machines to work. Starting in the 1920s, Van Everbush and others developed mechanical differential analyzers.